Good afternoon everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we are going to be looking at the effects of the Conservative win at the general election and the effects that that's going to have on Amazon FBA, selling on Amazon and pretty much e-commerce, maybe importing, exporting in general. So if you're interested in this sort of content, make sure you are subscribed with the notifications turned on. Let's get into the video straight away. <laughs> Welcome if you're new here, welcome back if you're not. My name is Johnny Bradley, I'm founder of the Seller Pro Academy where we help ordinary people create extraordinary things, just one product at a time. And I'm sure you've all seen your Facebook news feed completely blow up, everyone thinking that they're part of the House of Commons and everyone having an opinion, which is absolutely fine. Because everyone has an opinion, a lot of people spread misinformation about what's gonna happen, what's not gonna happen, um, the effects that it's gonna have on the economy, and so forth. So today in this video, I wanna let you know where you stand if you are selling on Amazon in the UK or if you're in Europe or maybe in the US and how the conservative win will or potentially could affect you into the future, into 2020. So let's go through some of the big topics. So it is Friday the 13th and we heard, heard earlier today, I'm not saying this and unlucky, I'm not gonna share my opinion, uh, but the conservatives got in with a, a fairly large majority, one that is pretty, Pretty much unheard of in any recent history or one of the big things behind uh, what, what potentially could be why they got in is because of the whole brexit issue because we were supposed to leave the eu a long long time ago it get, kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and obviously old boris wants to get brexit done so in terms of where do we stand as FBA sellers, let me just recap a little bit about Brexit because that's really what we wanna talk about today is how Brexit is gonna affect us as sellers. And because the Conservatives now have a majority, which means that they can actually make decisions and put things through, whereas before there was a hung parliament and they tried to get Brexit through, they tried to get a deal or even a no deal and basically, nothing was happening. There was delays and delays to the point where there was a snap general election, at which point old Boris got the votes he needed. So this means that we have until the 31st of January 2020 to leave the EU. Now at that point, there's one of two things that could happen. First of all, we get a deal. And second of all, we leave with something called a no deal. Now let's look at the first one, getting a deal. The first of which is we get a deal, right? They negotiate a deal. And then there's, there's something called a transition period. So up until the end of January, going through to the 31st of December, there's something called the transition period. So that's when, you know, things can happen. Obviously moving out of the EU takes time. There's lots of legislation that has to changes. There's negotiations that have to happen with what's gonna into happen in terms of trade, in terms of free movement of goods free movement of people um, going forward through to 2021. So they have that time to be able to actually make these, these arrangements. And what happens during that time is particularly for if you're selling on Amazon or if you are doing e-commerce or importing goods, uh, particularly from the EU or you're moving goods around the EU, we have something at the moment called free movement of goods, which means that if I want to buy something from Germany, I can buy it and it's very, very quick. It's just like if I was sending it to Yorkshire. It's nice and quick and I don't have to deal with customs. I don't have to deal with any of that stuff it's all you know it's free movement of goods if we have a, a deal right if there is a deal then we will still continue to have free movement of goods until december 2020 or the end of december sorry and at which point then they may have negotiated something else and we will find out what that is when we find out um, however there will be that transition period so in the most part not a huge amount will change for us However, if there is something called a no deal, that means that we basically leave the EU on the 31st of January without any deals lined up, which means that there could be potential issues. And this is something that you do need to be, be aware of, because if there is a no deal and you have stock that you're sending in, you know, to, to Europe or you've got coming into the country, there's going to be probably significant delays because at this point, the UK will be seen as a separate country, just like America is a separate country, right? You still have to go through customs. If you send goods to customs or receive goods, um, if you send goods to the US or receive goods from the US, they go through customs. Now at the moment, because we have this free movement of goods, it doesn't really have to go through that, that process. Now, if we leave without a deal, then what's gonna happen is that customs are gonna have to do a significant amount more work because all these goods that have been moving around the EU, 
freely are going to have to go through customs clearance and other different checks and that's going to put a huge amount of strain on the borders and that's what's potentially going to happen is that there's going to be big big delays so what the guidance from hmrc was and the guidance from amazon was um, coming up to the the last deadline they were saying hey if you know that you're going to need goods in germany or you know that you're going to need goods into the uk then try and get them in a little bit earlier leave two or three weeks just in case there are delays so that's something that you do need to be aware of um, if that does happen okay the other thing is is that if there is someone in France and they want to buy your product from the UK, then there's going to be potentially extra taxes and duties to pay. Either it will be the buyer will be responsible or you will be responsible as the seller. These are things that you need to be aware of in terms of the tariffs, the amount that you'll pay. Again, there is no guidance on that at the moment. If that does happen, there will eventually be guidance upon that. One of the big problems with Brexit is uncertainty, okay, not knowing what's going to happen. So if there is a deal and we have this transition period until 31st of December 2020, then at least there's certainty. We know kind of what's going to happen. We have time to be able to deal with it. If there's a no deal, it's pretty much uncertain. We won't know anything until it happens. So if you're running a business, if you're running an e-commerce business who are importing, exporting, you'll probably need to be quite hot on it. Keep an eye on the news, particularly up towards the end of January, just to see what happens uh, and just keep your finger on on the pulse on that keep your ear to the ground as such one of the one of the good things that has happened for importers is the pound has got stronger you know not a huge amount stronger but when the exit polls were announced last night uh, the pound took a, a nice little spike and little increase upwards so that it becomes more valuable against things like the dollar or the euro now what does this mean for you as a seller as an importer someone that imports goods from another country it means that just like when you go on holiday if you were going to the us and you want to buy a hundred dollars then that's going to cost you a certain amount of pounds now because the pound is now a little bit stronger it will cost you less pounds to buy the same amount of us dollars now how does that work for someone that is importing goods it means that the goods that you were going to import basically got a little bit cheaper because your pound is now worth more money it, it's worth more dollars for people that are importing from places like china quite often we are buying dollars and we're then using dollars to buy our stock if the pound continues to gain strength that means we're going to continue to get more dollars for our money which is a good thing equally what could happen is that if, for example, there's a no deal Brexit, the pound may take a decrease. It may continue to go up. Who knows? We can't tell the future. At which point your, pa your pound becomes less valuable, which means you need more pounds to buy the dollars, which means things get more expensive. And that's what's been happening over the past few years is the pound has just continued to decrease. Um, you know, I remember when you could, for example, trade one pound for $1.6. That's just not the case anymore. I think it's like 1.3 or 1.35. Okay, don't quote me on that. You'll have to check the numbers. So for you as someone that is importing goods, then this is something that you can just want to be aware of and maybe want to do a little bit of research on and just keep, again, you keep your ear to the ground, particularly towards the end of January. So you can see what movement is happening with the pound because you might want to hedge a bet and think okay well if i think the pound's going to go down i might want to buy my stock now while it's a little bit higher so i get more for my money if i think it's going to go up like the uh if i think the pound is going to go up and get in value then you're going to wait to buy your stock because the longer you wait the more dollars you will be able to buy with your pound so that's something to be aware of it may not make a huge difference to small orders but when you're dealing in you know large orders you know tens of thousands then this is going to make a you know a big difference on your bottom line i think the main thing that i want to get get across to you in this video is that there is uncertainty we don't know what's going to happen so if you read somewhere or you see something and say this is definitely going to happen you're going to need to buy you know more dollars so you because the pound's going to go down no one can tell the future in in that way um so just keep your your ear to the ground and make sure that you're aware of what's going on politically you're aware of what's going on with brexit in particularly if you're again if you are importing or exporting goods and just a note on that if you're exporting goods if the pound does go down that's actually good for you because it means that someone's euro can buy more pounds right which means that your product becomes cheaper in their eyes so just be aware of that if you are exporting goods like if you are selling in different countries from from the uk then there is sometimes upsides to that as well i think the main thing that you should do in this what i'm going to do is just keep your ear to the ground keep an eye on the news keep an eye on what's happening when 
when or if there is a deal put forward, you know, have a look at it, see how it affects free movement of goods. Um, so you can understand a little bit more about how it is going to affect you. If you do want me to do a video when that information is released or after the 31st of January, just let me know and uh, I can make it nice and easy to understand because I get asked this question all the time. What's going to happen with Brexit? How's it going to affect Amazon FBA? And ultimately at the moment, we don't exactly know because we don't know what deal or, or, or no deal is, is being put forward exactly. But what you can do is you can understand how things like the value of the pound could potentially affect your business, how things like free movement of goods could potentially affect your business, just so you're aware of them if and when they should happen. So regardless of how you voted, if you voted, what your personal beliefs are. I hope you found this video informative and easy to understand. If you do have any questions that you'd like me to answer, then please just leave a comment down below. And if you want me to do a recap on this video or something more specifically about Brexit or about the Conservative Party or UK government or whatever, then um, please again, just let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can put something together for you nearer the time. And also, if you have found this video useful, I'd love it if you smash the old thumbs up button and share it with someone that may find it useful if they do have a business. That's going to be it for today. Make sure you are subscribed with your little notifications turned on. And remember, you're just one product away. Bye-bye.